Today's video feature is what should you expect at an initial interview with a workers' compensation lawyer? Well, every lawyer has their own way of doing things. I certainly have mine. Some firms, you'll sit down with a paralegal, and then you may or may not meet with a lawyer. I like the more personal touch, so I sit down with you face-to-face -face so that we can both evaluate each other. This is an interview on both sides. You're interviewing me to see if I'm a lawyer that impresses you enough to want to hire me and put your faith and trust in me. I'm also evaluating you to see if it's a case that I think I can help you with and frankly make a fee. Now, the basic information we start with, I, I ask you a few questions and then I'll answer all of yours. But I start out with what was the date of your accident? What happened during the accident? What body parts were affected? Did you provide notice to your employer? Were there witnesses? And then were you taken for medical treatment or when did you seek medical treatment first? Hopefully it was the same day or the following day. In a lot of cases, my clients, they get injured, but they say, I'm going to be okay. And then later that night, their pain increases to the point where they end up going to the emergency room. Then I try to find out where they are in their treatment. Have they gone past the emergency room or urgent care? Have they been referred to a specialist? And what is the specialist recommending? Now, I like to get involved in cases as soon as I can because we can anticipate certain issues with medical treatment and be ready to fight for them if we need to. If you come to me after something's been denied, it's a little more difficult and takes more time. Also, we talk about recorded statements, if they've already given one or if an adjuster has contacted them and wants one. Again, in a separate video, I talk about, I believe that video, excuse me, that recorded statements and sometimes now video recorded statements are important because it allows the carrier, the adjuster to finish their investigation and make a decision on compensability. We need to first find out if they're going to accept or deny the claim and then we'll know how to proceed. Now, once I ask all my questions, then we turn to yours and we explain the process and hopefully a lot of these videos will help so that if you have questions later on, you can always give me a call or watch these videos for additional answers. Now, I hope that answers your questions so far. Certainly every case is different. And for a more detailed review of your case, you do need to call me and schedule a time to come in. My name is Robert Reeves. My mobile number, 704-351-7979. Or you can email me, robert at rjrlaw.com. Thank you.